and it's an eye power coming back to my channel. So we are going to be talking about how to become the main character in your life. How do you, what exactly do you need to become the main character in your life? It's really, really sounds so fascinating the moment I realize that, hey, I can really be the main character in my life. Then um, I was able to find two ways through which I know you can also become the main character in your life. at how to become the main character in your life as the main character in your life uh, one of the worst possible things you can do is to let it pass by what do I mean here so uh, most times we set goals we, we desire to do some things we set goals like the routines that uh, do my list and then at the end of the day you just let all you plan pass by without completing them and to you it really sounds okay normal because you feel like okay if today I've not made it then tomorrow I'll make it but then it kind of like uh, makes you not um, be more focused more determined but when you try to find purpose in life when you decide to live with purpose it means that you are going to set your goals you make sure that you you stick to the goals you made, the to-do list you made, and then of course um, the desires you have to accomplish what you set already, and then the accomplishment. So at the end of the day, when you sit down, for those who do like I do, I always have a daily to-do list, uh, and then I set them a day before I go to bed, and then when I come back home before I go to bed, I evaluate my to-do list what have i done how have i done it what have i not done and why have i not done it so when i realized that on my to-do list i had like 10 or okay i had like five major uh, things i really wanted to do and i did one or two then i start questioning about um, myself and then how i do things so in order for you to live with purpose which is one thing one way through which i know you can become the main character in your life is by living with purpose when you live with purpose in life you said you have the desires to do some things then you set goals and then you evaluate the accomplishments at the end of the day then you will be able to see some work being done then my number two and the last is uh, setting boundaries this is a song most people sing, like, you know, for me, I set goals, I need people from my life, I stop doing this and this and that. Of course, we are different, kind of, different kinds of people that sometimes we set things and then we don't do them. Sometimes we set, we, we set goals and we do them. We set priorities in our lives and then we do them or we don't do them. So um, while you are learning about the main character in your life, you need to develop confidence like yeah, you need to believe in yourself you need to have that uh, positive energy pushing you making you feel like yes i can do this and i'm going to do this and at the end of the day i've done this so you have that confidence pushing you um to do great things if you decide that i'm going to stop waking up at seven and wake up at six thirty then you believe in yourself and then you will do it. You have that confidence that you can switch from waking up at 6, at waking up at 7 a.m. to waking up at 6.30 a.m. So with that belief and confidence that you know it keeps you know, it keeps you moving, you need to develop confidence and accountability in setting boundaries with other people. We are in December and when you sit and reflect on so many things that like that, how you want to be the main character in your life, but then a few things keep on pushing you away, you know, in and out and in and out. You know, instead of doing this, then you have a phone call, you need to hang out with your friend, you need to have a, a cup of tea, you need to have a glass of juice, you need to have a glass of juice. So you are always on a hit and run, you know, you really don't, don't let people understand 
but there are things you can do and then there are things that you cannot do so we can also eliminate toxic people from our lives from our relationships that might stop us from being the main character so you should be knowing what you want and the importance of what you want in your life so you don't just do things because you feel like doing them but you should be having reasons of you know wanting something and why you want it so that you know it keeps on driving you encouraging you giving you that confidence that you need when you sit down to track the progress you can really say yes you are moving from step zero to step one from step one to step three you need to learn to be okay with removing things and relationships that don't allow you to maintain the things you are trying to apply in your life the principles you are trying to apply in your life